We'll start shaking up them bleach cocktails, y'all. The 2024 election is upon us. That's right, the Iowa caucuses were last night. Trump won by a mile, which I find a scotch disconcerting. Now, look, I know, I realize that expecting the oldest, whitest contingent of church papaws that Iowa has to offer to vote with even a modicum of sense would be like expecting the old chimps at the zoo to not play with themselves in front of the middle school field trip, right? Like, it's, it's just their nature, all right? Also, trolling regular people is the only joy they have left in this world. Now, the difference here is that when these papaw champs pull their proverbial wieners out, a nation of 330 million hangs in the balance. So I know it's not surprising, but it does feel worse to me somehow. You know, first of all, dude, Simone Biles couldn't do the types of gymnastics I've done mentally over the past few years trying to justify Trump's support. In 2016, I was like, well, okay, so he's he's lying, but they don't know that he's saying everything they want to hear. He's checking all the right hate boxes. They just don't know that he's full of it. Maybe after four years of him, they'll get it. Then four years later, I was like, nope. Nope, they don't even a little bit get it. But, you know, hey, I mean, at least it's not, it's not like he's the public perpetrator of an actual insurrection. It's not like he's been indicted criminally damn near 100 times, right? Right? In 2024, all that has happened. His support is even higher. And I'm just sitting here like, well, shit. I don't know what to say. Now, granted, in this particular primary, his competition is a dead-eyed bobblehead with six-inch lifts, a woman who talks, and a brown guy, so the base was never going to go for any of that crap, but still, it is upsetting, okay? And there's some optimists out there trying to spin the results. They'll tell you, well, you know, Iowa Republicans, they haven't picked the right candidate since George W. Bush. Yeah, well, something tells me they nailed this one, buddy, all right? Also, the reason behind that actually makes this all scarier to me, because the reason that Iowa Republicans have picked a different candidate in in the past is because they have a huge contingent of evangelical voters. They pick who they think is the Bibleist, right? They picked Huckabee, Santorum. In 2016, it was Cruz over Trump, which I guess the rationale there was like, listen, Ted Cruz is so palpably uncharismatic. There's just no way he's actually a secret demon who's dressed up as a billboard DUI lawyer, okay? Either way, the point is they vote based on the Lord, which implies that as of now, to them, the serial philanderer and pathological liar who wouldn't piss on a church fire unless he could profit from the ashes is somehow the second coming of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm a little put off by that, okay? There's other optimists out there trying to spin the numbers. They're like, well, you know, turnout was crazy low. He only had like 2% of Iowans overall. It's not that bad. Listen, I appreciate what y'all are trying to do for my blood pressure here, but it's still pretty bad. All right, he's still going to be the nominee. It is still an existential crisis, and we still have to rally behind Joe Biden right now. All right, and people say, well, Biden sucks too. Not like that. All right, Joe Biden's not indicted. He's not a public traitor. Right? These two are not the same. Okay, so you got to get on board now because the other side already is. 68% of these voters last night do not believe Joe Biden legit won the last election. They have chugged the Kool Aid, y'all, which, by the way, no way it's anywhere near sweet enough. I mean, Iowa white people, they don't make Kool-Aid worth a damn, but I digress. The point is, we got to get out in front of this right now, all right? Because it's not just their own Kool-Aid they're poisoning. They're trying to get it in the water supply, all right? Love y'all. <sighs> all right, YouTube, listen up. More in just a second, but I just want to say, you know, New Year just started. We're already talking about the election. It ain't going to change. Huge year. The challenge is going to be to not become overwhelmed while still staying, staying informed with everything we're reading, which is why I think my sponsor today, Ground News, is going to be an invaluable resource going through that process because they empower you to immediately identify the types of sources you're looking at in case you don't remember or recall. Ground News is a startup and service that aims to uh, combat media bias by adding context and transparency to all your news. All right. And it's going to be very, very important to say your Uncle Randy posts some election stuff. You can immediately go to Ground News, find that article and immediately figure out whether it's just from one low factuality outlet or it's being prominently reported. This stuff is important if you want to know more. Let's see how it works. All right, we're out here on the Ground News site. They also have a Chrome extension and an app for you. But anyway, we're looking at the story that I was just talking about, Trump winning the 2024 caucuses. And immediately on Ground News, you can see all the additional information you get. You're not getting anywhere else. So you got a coverage breakdown on the right, total news sources, which ones are right, left, center. you got a handy-dandy summary at the top. And then what I really like down here, you see the articles, the headlines, right? You can sort them by left, center, or right. And again, right off the bat, before you read anything, you get so much more information than anywhere else you could see on any given article. Article, the degree of factuality, the political bias, the ownership group, right? And also you could compare how those things influence the uh, headlines that you read. You see how many different headlines we have here? Look, low factuality, far left source says criminally indicted sex abuser Trump wins GOP caucus, right? Uh, 
Whereas if you see one that says high factuality center leaning, it's more matter of fact. Here's how Trump won in Iowa and why the caucus was practically over before it began. You know what I mean? It's, it's easier to spot sensationalism when you use ground news and you know where your news is coming from and the news of those around you. It's great. One thing I want to tell you about, they got a blind spot feature. You click that and uh, it shows you articles that aren't being talked about on either side of the spectrum. So if you're on the left, these are artic these are stories you might not be seeing right now if you're in your bubble and the same for on the right. It's a tremendous feature and I'm a big fan of it as I am of ground news in general. And I think they're especially important what they're doing this year of all years. All right, so if you like the sound of that, here's what you could do. You could click the link in the description below to combat media bias today. Push back on the BS by trying ground news for free or you can get 30% off their highest tier Vantage program, right? It's great, especially this year of all years. The last thing any of us wants to be in 2024 is caught off guard. So with that in mind, check out ground news today. All right, YouTube, man, we're back. You know, I used that Kool-Aid thing at the at the, at the the end of the video there, but I started thinking, it's like, this really does feel kind of Jonestown-y to me, Trump and his supporters, because it's like all the normal people are like, so there's all these crazy people out there in the middle of nowhere, and they're all, they're all, uh, worship. <clears throat> all right, YouTube, man, we're back. You know, I, I was talking about Kool-Aid at the end there, which I often do, but it made me realize, like, this really is kind of Jonestown-y, this whole thing, the massacre, because it's like Trump and his supporters. Everybody points out it's culty all the time, but we're all talking about them. Like, so what's up with all these crazy people out there in the middle of nowhere who love this perverted weirdo so much? What's that all about? Seems like they just do whatever he says, kill themselves for him and stuff. He seems like a dumbass to me. I don't get why anybody would be into that. It's weird, the parallels there when you really think about it. But the difference, of course, is that when those people did that, it was tragic, but it didn't affect the rest of us, right? It would be more like if, if Jim Jones had gotten everybody else to drink that Kool-Aid, kill over dead, and then he hopped on a plane and immediately went and started World War III or something of that nature, right? Tanked the economy again. If he had the capacity to do that, it would have been a whole bigger story, don't you think? And he'd be a little bit more of an asshole, historically speaking. And now that guy controls the hearts and minds of a solid 30 plus percent of our fellow Americans. And it's enough to keep you up at night. It truly is. But anyway, I think we could get there. We still way through this. There is. Democracy can still prevail. It is all true. We can still win. And I'm look, you're going to be hearing a lot of this type of stuff from me over the next 10 months. And I admit it, but Hopefully you're along for the ride. We got to do what we got to do. Okay, listen, I'm going to put these things up here. This is my special. Watch my comedy special. This is uh, subscribe to this here channel. It's got this stuff and podcast clips and, ch and episodes and whatnot. And then down here, this is TreyCrowder.com. I'm a stand-up comedian. So what I really do, come see me on the road. If I'm coming to your city, come see me. TreyCrowder.com. All right, thank you all very much. The important thing is you keep watching these silly videos. And if you do, I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you, bye.